Welcome to Grady's Another Angle, the series that showcases our community. I'm Ashlyn Webb. And I'm Alex Frios. Athens is the proud birthplace of many famous rock bands like R.E.M., Drive-By Truckers, and the B-52s. These bands help shape the music culture of Athens. Now, another band is playing to sold-out crowds, but if you can't catch them at the Georgia Theater, you might just be able to find them in the, in the classroom. I'll introduce you all to AFTM, a local band made up of UGA students that is rising way beyond small-town fame. By day, they're your average group of University of Georgia College students. By night, they're AFTM, a local Athens band that's taken the small town music circuit by storm. We're super lucky to have the, the fan base that we do in Athens and just have all our peers support us, so I'm, I'm just really fortunate and really surprised. The band started playing for local bars and fraternities just two years ago. When we first started, we were just playing for free. Now, the band is selling out shows and playing venues across the state. Pretty much, like yeah. every weekend, we're, we're out of town. In the past year, the band has released his debut studio album, Named Around for the Moment, and sold out the Georgia Theater twice. You know, maintaining humility after stepping out of a sold out Georgia Theater show kind of keeps your feet on the ground and uh, like, lets you see like the bigger picture. Their first album has been 10 years in the making. It's been a long time coming. Uh, one of the songs of the album, John Will and I wrote when we were in middle school. Um, some other of the songs I wrote in high school, some I wrote at Belmont, and then probably half the album we wrote together as a band. The band formed nearly 10 years ago when lead singer Boris Whitlark and twins John and Will McLean began playing for church events and smaller gigs. Once the three reunited at the University of Georgia, drummer Cam Corsino, guitarist Kelly Bouchelon, and keys player John Cherry joined the band. We had only practiced like two or three times and I just remember, you know, it was so smooth. Like it was just like I'd been playing with them like my whole life. Each of the members bring a new beat and instrument to the table, something you can see in their very first album. It's just a good representation of all different band members and their styles. You know, everyone brings something different to the table. Because those mix of beats, the band says they're a mix of genres. We really just wanted to do a variety of things, really. We weren't like stuck on like sounding like a southern rock band. We weren't stuck on sounding like a funk band. Instead, we wanted to sound like everything. The genre of their new album is what they call multi-elemental rock. It's a fusion of all genres, almost as eclectic as the Athens music scene. Athens has had a history of producing legendary bands like the B-52s and R.E.M. Some of AFTM's biggest fans believe they can be the next big band to hit the charts. You know, we want to like we want to be the big Athens band, but right now we're just playing the show. Let's just play the show, have fun, and next show we'll do the same thing and just like kind of enjoy it as it comes. I just want to know how they balance their schoolwork with all their gigs. Yeah, I was actually talking to the band members about the, this, and they said it's all, it all comes down to time management. So they're doing homework in between classes, they're prepping for their next big exam, just so they have enough time after school to work on their music. And this album specifically, they've invested a lot of time in. Um, AFTM's album Around for the Moment is 10 years in the making. If you weren't able to celebrate uh, with them at their first album release party, you can see, uh, see them this summer at aisle five in Atlanta Anna, June 28th and June 29th. If you want more information on the band or to get updates of their upcoming shows, you can visit their Facebook page at music.aftm. Hi everyone, I'm Sydney Shadricks. Coming up, I'll tell you about a local nonprofit that will help you get any business off the ground. But right now, here are three things you might want to try out in Athens this weekend. If you're like me and wish you could ballroom dance, then this event is for you. The UGA Ballroom Performance Group is giving free cha-cha lessons this Friday from 7 to 8 p.m. It's taking place at Memorial Hall on UGA's campus. You don't have to bring a partner and the event is free. There will be a social dance after the lessons and it's $5 general admission. The group has events every week, so check out ugaballroom.com for more events. Have you ever heard that a picture is worth a thousand words? This Friday, the Georgia Museum of Art is hosting a talk about how art helps us all live better lives. 
Dr. Annie Starr, a resident scholar at Brandeis University's Women's Research Center, will be discussing how encounters with art have a nearly unique potential to foster the under-recognized capacity for a tolerance of ambiguity. The talk is free and will be from 5.30 to 6.30. If you don't want to go to a normal farmer's market this weekend, then maybe a vintage pop-up market is for you. The athens Clark Heritage Foundation is set to host the market this Saturday from 12 to 8 p.m. at Hall No. 12. There will be vendors from Athens and Atlanta selling vintage goods and clothing. We've all been there. You're sitting around with a group of your friends and somebody says, you know what would be really cool or you know what they should invent? Next thing you know, you're brainstorming the next dating app based on Netflix preferences or trying to find a way for AI to do your next homework assignment. Sure. Not all of these ideas are going to be ready for ABC Shark Tank, but if you have a really great idea and just don't know what to do next, the help you need could be closer than you think. For Athens is a nonprofit organization in Athens, and they've helped take over 100 companies from the back of a napkin to the masses. They connect entrepreneurs with resources like community, financing, and mentorship, and they've seen all kinds of ideas. It's a pretty wide range of what we see coming out, and it's as diverse as the local population and the UGA population. Like, no matter what people are interested in, there's a way to, like, kind of grow that. For Athens has helped everyone from tech startups to food delivery services. Have you ever used Athens Cosmic Delivery to bring your dinner to your door during one of those late-night study sessions? Well, it's housed in For Athens. Basically, if you have an idea, For Athens can help make it a reality. Take Emily McCord. She's a senior at UGA who's looking to bring fresh faces to the world of hashtag influencers. Our new idea is called Connect and it is a um, influencer, authentic influencer marketing agency. Yeah, so we um, connect nano influencers, which are social media users with 1,000 to 5,000 followers. We connect them with brands, um, specifically natural beauty brands. And so, um, so if the natural beauty brands want to use influencer marketing, we will connect them with the nano influencers to post about their products. And so we're all about um, genuine advertising, so we don't pay our influencers, but we um, do give them free product in exchange for feedback for the companies. Emily is a part of 4Athens and UGA's Idea Accelerator. It's an eight-week program that helps innovators test whether or not their ideas would actually make it in the real world. So I really just am getting so much experience, like knowing, okay, what do I do when I have an idea? I go through customer discovery and then I create a financial model and then I, I just talk to people and see if my idea is even a good idea. And so, yeah, I've just gained a lot of experience about how to start a business and exactly the steps you should take. At the end of eight weeks, the participating teams will pitch their businesses to the judges and the winning team will receive $5,000 towards their startup. But all participants gain something in the process. A network. One of the big things we try to do is build a community around entrepreneurs because it's not an easy thing to do. The Idea Accelerator is free and open to everyone, so even if you're not a UGA student, you can become a part of it. The teams this year will give their final presentations during Athens Startup Week from April 12th to 19th. To learn more about it, visit AthensGeorgia.Startup.co. Today, I introduce you to a woman who made it from Teenage Runaway to UCLA student, local artist, gallery owner, and teacher. She knows how important internships are in fostering future artists. We have heard a lot in today's show about students following their passions, whether it's music, art, or even business. The ability to follow this passion does not always come at a low price. Tiff Siegfried shows us all how she is working to make sure every student can afford the high cost of following a dream. Located above the Jittery Joes on the corner of Jackson and Broad is a small art gallery owned by Ridley Howard and Tiff Sigfrids. The space is split into three sections. The first is a space for local artists to display their work. Next is where Howard hangs his own art, and the final space is home to shows put on by curator Tiff Sigfrids. Sigfrids came to Athens as a teenage runaway in the 90s, and after years spent in the art world of Los Angeles, she decided to move back. Athens became this place that I would just come back to um, because I had friends from my youth here and it seemed like a really nice place to live, so always in the back of my mind. Siegfrieds, who studied art at the University of California, Los Angeles, 
first got into curation while she was playing music after college. I started organizing um, like music concerts or kind of almost like variety shows sometimes, like where stand-up comedian friends would perform, um, you know, whatever, in, in kind of unique locations, like gas station parking lots and like Chinese food restaurants, like anywhere where the, the owners of these like businesses would say like, sure, you can do your thing here. I would kind of do that. And it, it be started to become a, a little bit apparent to me that what I was doing was like some form of curation, like a really loose form of, of like curating. Now, after being back in Athens for a year, Siegfrieds continues to work as a curator but she has found a new passion in her students since working part-time at the Lamar Dodd School of Art. I initiated this fund for uh, students who want to do internships in cities like LA or New York that are really expensive to live in, who like could get an internship but couldn't afford to take it because right. I've seen that happen a lot. But I've also seen um, how like, like kind of life and career changing Students have the opportunity to come to the gallery on Fridays for office hours and are invited to the openings for the various shows that Siegfrieds curates. It's been kind of a nice thing to have classes come to the gallery. Like in LA, sometimes classes would come to the gallery and we would walk people through shows, but it's pretty consistent here. Mm -hmm. And that feels nice because the gallery can almost be used as like a teaching tool. The gallery currently features works by artist Gracie DeVito, Margaret Bergman, Genesis Billinger, Anthony Iacono, and Julie Curtis, and is preparing for a new exhibition by Mimi Lauder, opening April 13th. Kate Hester, Another Angle. Siegfried's Gallery is located above the Jittery Joes on North Jackson Street, and is open Friday and Saturday, 11 to 5, or by appointment. For more information on upcoming exhibits, as well as featured artists, please visit tiffsigfrids.com. Thank you for joining us. I'm Kate Hester, and remember to always look out for the other angle. Grady News Source is a student production of the Grady College of Journalism and Mass Communication at the University of Georgia, which is solely responsible for its contents. Views expressed do not represent those of the administration nor the Board of Regents at the University System of Georgia.